A. Learn these words and complete the following sentences using them. So first one, pilgrim. Pilgrims mean um, visitors to the you know religious sites or visitors to the religious places. Architecture, art or science of designing buildings and other structures. Next, charming. And then alleyways, alleyways mean narrow street or you know passage formed by two roads and then panoramic mean with wide view with wide view okay. first one she studied history of art and architecture this one is the answer architecture at the university b all the dash of the city are resurfaced so all the narrow street that means um alleyways all the alleyways of the city are resurfaced third one many dash visit the muktinath temple so muktinath temple this one is a religious place so in so each pilgrims many pilgrims visit the muktinath temple every year fourth one i found nepali people charming charming and helpful fifth one last one one can enjoy the panoramic view of the Kathmandu valley from the top of the tarara She studied history of art and architecture at the university. B. All the elevates of the city are resurfaced. Many pilgrims visit the Muktinath temple every year. I found Nepali people charming and helpful. One can, one can enjoy the panoramic view of the Kathmandu Valley from the top of the Tarara. Question number B. Put these sentences from the text above in the correct order. And the answer is, first, the writer spent a night in Pokhara and met her two group. Second, the writer appreciated the hotel staff in Pokhara. Third, it took seven hours for the writer to reach Tatapani. Fourth, the tourist guide shared experiences about her life with the writer. Fifth, the writer Together with all the members, visited Marfa village. Sixth, the writer took a hot shower. Question number C. Answer these questions. A. Is it easy for non police to enter Upper Mustang? Why? Your answer. Nepali tourists need a special special travel permit to enter upper mustang so you can write a isn't. no it isn't because they or non nepalese need a special travel permit to enter upper mustangs b why was the writer given cushions and blankets at the hotel in poker the staff of the hotel provided me that means the writer was provided or given with cushions and blankets to ensure this is your answer to ensure that I would not get cold during the night Sir? he was given cushions and blankets to ensure that he would not get cold during the night see why do only a few tourists visit Nepal in January? Right. Sir? In January, in Nepal, the weather is usually somewhere between 0 to minus 150 Celsius in the Himalayas. That means it is very cold, too cold, it's severing. That's why the winter in, in winter months, that is January, 
the winter months draw few tourists to Nepal. This is your answer you can write. Only a few tourists visit Nepal in January because the cold is usually between 002 minus 150 Celsius in Himalayas during the month. You can write a D. What was the Tatapani spring like? Tatapani meaning a hot spring. The spring itself was a small but charming natural pool. You can write is Tatapani was like a hot spring, um, a small but charming natural pool. It was like a hot spring, a small but charming natural pool. It e. Where does Kakbeni lie? Kak so this one is your answer. Kakbeni lies along. Kakbeni lies along the Kali Gondek River, or you can simply write Kakbeni lies in the valley of the Kali Gondek River. Your choice. Kakbeni lies along the Kali Gondek River, or Kakbeni lies in the valley of the Kali Gondaki River. It lies along the Kali Gondaki River or it lies in the valley of the Kali Gondaki River. If what according to the Buddhist are the five elements of life. Buddhists say this is the only place on earth to host five elements of life and they are sky air fire water earth the five elements of life according to the buddhist are sky air fire water and earth G. what is marfa village known for the town is famous in the area for eels a Pole trees and unique architecture and the down here means village of marfa so um village of marfa is famous for or known for eels apple trees and unique architecture Next. it is known for eels apple trees and unique architecture yeah. was the writer happy with her journey in the end how do you know yes, yes she was how do I know? I know or I knew it because she said that she felt refreshed and warm. Um, after enjoying a hot shower the previous day. And she also mentioned that uh, her time in Mustang was truly unforgettable. So I knew that or I know that she enjoyed her travel at the end. Yes was answer yes she was i know it because she said that she felt refreshed and warm enjoying a hot shower previous night and she also claimed that her time in mustang was truly unforgettable grammar one a number complete these sentences with missing words or phrases from the reading text, discuss with your friends to identify the ten cents. So we have to identify the tens as well. Identify, identify the tens. A. Mustang Das opened to tourists since 1992. Mustang has only been open to tourists since 1992. On the first night, I does, and then says, I stayed. On the first night, I stayed. I stayed in Pokhara to meet up with my next day. We does our trip from next day. We continued our trip from Tatopani to Kakbeni along the D. They does in they have been symbolized. They have been symbolized in the colors of flags. E I does refreshed and warm and then so I felt I 
felt. Rephrased and warm. Well, dancer ours. It says identify the dance as well. So here, uh, this one answer. This one, the dance used in the sentence. Mustang has only been open to tourists since 1992, and the dance is present perfect. Has plus been has been. B. On the first night, I stayed. This one is verb two. So verb two means simple past. Simple past. Next day, we continued again verb two. Again, simple past tense. They have been symbolized. It is present perfect that is in passive voice form. I felt again verb two. Simple past. Okay, another question. Question number B. Read the given paragraph carefully, underline the verbs in the sentence sense and identify their tense. Let me do that. Well, our first sentence, have you ever had a frank turning experience and the tense used here is present perfect. Uh, has, have, plus, had or bought three. This is called present perfect. Here again, present perfect. Have a standard option. Next one. I was eating. Was it was with the ID that is past continuous. This one past continuous. Okay, next one. Next one. Was a white. Was a this one is simple past. It's simple past. Next one. Of you, this one is simple past. This is what two simple past. What means simple past? Was means simple past. What means simple past? Next one. Uh, there's no. This there's the other three cases. Eat. No need. This one is simple present. Eat simple present. Next one, R heading. R eating R plus I that means present continuous. Yeah, present continuous. Okay, present continuous. Next. Okay, I felt felt the part two again. Past. Simple past. Next one, sorry, this one, so part two. ED. So again, simple past. Next one, landed again, part two, simple past. Again, 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 ED, simple past. And I have decided, have plus part three. This is perfect, present perfect. Fill in the blanks with one of the two alternatives given in the brackets. A. The sun does set or has set at 6 p.m. yesterday. So do one thing. If there is only one incident, use um, present or past, simple present or past. Other only one incident or one action, use simple past or simple present. If there is a series of action, then use perfect. So for an example, the sun does at 6 p.m. Yesterday, there is only one action. So the sun set. The sun set. B. Get up. So one action. The sun does rise. So another action. There are two actions. So get up. The sun has already risen. C. Jackson does his lunch. The plate again. Jackson has eaten. Has eaten because there are two actions. First action, the first action is eating. Second one is, you know, the plate is still on the table. D. Jackson does his lunch at 11 yesterday. So there is only one action. So 8. Jackson ate. His lunch at 11 yesterday. E. Levy and Simon does. Does that as friends for a long time. So, have been. Have been friends for a long time. It means that you were friends and you are still friends. If you if you, if you you use were, that means you were but not now. So, answer is have been. This is not your answer. If does you post it, did you post it later last Sunday? So last Sunday, one action. So did you post? The Smiths does a week in Paris. Okay, recently. Usually with recently, we use have. Hello. So let us write have spent. The Smiths have spent a week in Paris recently because of this recently. We used perfect tense here. Eight. Mega does 
two marathons last year. So Mega has run two marathons last year. He could not. It Mega does two marathons last year. So last year means past, and has its present. So has is excluded. So left run. So Mega ran two marathons. He could not succeed with either I I does my keys yesterday so I lost I lost my keys yesterday she has lost her keys this evening she is at my home D complete the given sentence with one of the suitable verb forms one of the suitable verb so Richard does football yesterday yesterday played Richard played football yesterday next they have washed their car again it looks new see last year some of my friends does to Italy so they have washed their car again it looks new next one last year some went have finished Juni and Vikram have finished their homework now they can play e i called my parents two days ago we have not visited another country before the smiths bought a new house in 2001 i am sorry but i have forgotten to do my homework the girls haven't eaten their lunch yet they planted some trees last week writing one you must have had several memorable events in your life write two or three paragraphs about one of them include the answers to these questions in your paragraphs what was the event about when did it happen what lesson did you learn from it and so the possible answer however you can write entirely different answer you can write your own paragraph only works and duties but no family time and celebration both the family and the stands its members or relatives thus my parents decided to do a family gathering it would be a celebration of new year as well they talked and invited our relatives for 2018 New Year Day. The New Year arrived. My dad was very busy welcoming the guest and my mother taking care of the guest. But I talked of only enjoying and playing with my cousins so I didn't help my mom at all. I would always say that I care for my parents, especially my mother but i didn't help her on any work during the gathering and i have regretted my exam because my mother's back pain worsened and hospitalized because she did all the work by herself and i didn't help at all if i had helped her she wouldn't have been suffered she wouldn't have been suffered this much. Please do correction there. If I had helped her, she wouldn't have been suffered that much. I took care of her myself and it took me a month to heal her back pain. From this event, I learned that Exxon speaks louder than words. Instead of just saying, we should act as well. Only speaking but not doing does nothing. See here. So what was the event? The event was a family gathering. When did it happen? Uh, in 2018 on New Year Day. And what lesson you learned from it? Um, and the lesson I learned from it is action speaks louder than words.